Got a Yamaha RX V1000 receiver in for repair. This one is uh, not turning on, it's shutting down. So it's going into a shutdown mode. That typically means that there's a problem and it's going into protection mode. Let's uh, take a look and see what's wrong with it. Got a Yamaha RX V1000 uh, in for service. Uh, this one here, don't laugh when you look inside this thing. This is kept outside. This is a, a patio receiver. And apparently it's going dead or shutting down. So let's just see what happens if I try to power this thing up. It's not even powering up. Okay, it just came on. And then it went off. So it's turning off, you turn it on, and then it clicks off again. So let's pull the top and see what's going on. Too bad this wasn't smell vision because then you'd smell the funky smell that's coming out of this thing when I tried to power it up. I think maybe there's been some moisture in this unit. Or a critter has made a deposit into it. That's always a possibility. When you leave your electronics outside, anything can crawl into it. So let's pop it the top off and see if there's something that's uh, indicating that it's failing. Oh, yum! Look at the board! Like there's all kinds of crap inside there on that circuit board. No wonder things aren't working. Look at it, it's just covered in crap. You think this might be contributing to the fact that this thing's not working? It looks like there's bugs in there. It looks like a, that's, looks like a wing that's been burning. I think something burned up in this. <laughs> As I say, when you leave your electronic sitting outside, you never know what's going to crawl into it. Let me get some compressed air and blow this thing out. Let's see if it'll turn on now. Nope, still shutting down. So we have a problem. Let's uh, pull this one apart a little further and see what the problem is. I still see lots of... Um, the camera will focus. Crud on the board. Like residue that's been... Like these are all metal um, straps, bridge things together, and there's there's probably leakage between them all. There's a good chance that there's some compo components that have failed too, due to comp due to these bugs that landed and they're shorting themselves out and moisture. So I'm just going to clean this off the board off a little bit. Try to scrape between all of these uh, all these overlays for traces. Make sure there's nothing shorting out, and then we'll dig a little deeper. There's a good likelihood that there's transistors that are blown on this one. I believe he just uses it for music so in the event that there's outputs that are failed we may be able to get away with just disconnecting um, outputs that are blown if there, if there are any. I, I don't know at this point how far it is and I also don't know how far the, the guy that owns this wants to go with it. He didn't indicate that he wanted to spend a lot of money. He just kind of wanted me to look at it and give an idea so hopefully it's not too far damaged. And he's going to go ahead and repair it. So there's a possibility that he may just walk away from it. To say it was an outdoor unit. He put it there because he's got a new system in the house, obviously. And he wasn't using this for anything else. So I figured, oh, this would be good to have out by the barbecue. Uh, putting electronics outside generally isn't a great idea with all the moisture we have here. 
you're asking for trouble. So what I'm doing is I'm checking all the outputs to see whether there's any DC voltage present. So when I turn it on, okay, that goes down to zero. There's always DC voltage present when the unit is powering up or shutting down as it goes out of balance. So we will see voltage, but when I power it up, okay, that one's got voltage on it. See that? That output's got voltage. We've got a DC offset of about 20 volts, you see? That transistor is in conduction. And that is, uh, works with, it works in conjunction with this one here. Which is at zero. That's probably why, why these might be shorted or leaky or there's an open connection somewhere in here. Something on this, this, this set of transistors here is where the fault is. So you've got 31 volts on the transistor and in the middle terminal here the collector well this will have your full rail voltage on it 52 volts this transistor might be open because I'm not getting it well I got 18 volts on there now I didn't have I maybe wasn't measuring right before I got 31 volts got it that should not be there. That should be at zero. You see? Now what I don't know is if that's the center channel or whether that's the uh, whether that's the uh, th this is a multi-channel unit. I could cut that out. I could cut that transistor out. If, you, if it's the center channel he doesn't need it, I don't think. He's just looking for left and right. And being the pair of transistors in the middle, that might be the center channel. Somewhere in this area here there is a problem. It could be a transistor that's shot, or it could be one of the drivers that drives it is shot. Anyway, I gotta pull the board to get at that. And that's, uh, these ones, I don't know how bad it is on these ones. Some of these are worse than others. I think this board will lift out with the heat sink on it. Some of these Yamahas are just a, uh, just a pig to work on. But let's uh, pull the board see where the fault is. I know which transistors it's on. It's these ones here. With that DC voltage. I should check the other ones just to make sure that that's the only one. But I, I bet that's the only one that's going to show DC voltages. Is that one. these ones here. If I go down to these ones here, we're probably fine on these ones. Yeah, that one's good. See, it's going down to 0.5. And then, of course, this one here will also go down to 0.5. It should, anyway. Yeah, that was good. And then the other set down here. They're also fine. So it's just this one, one bank of transistors. It, it could be a bad transistor, or it could be a bad driver. Um, if it's the center channel, which I think it is, as I say, I think he's only using this for stereo, so he'll probably have me just disconnect it, more than likely, rather than repair it. But we'll cross that bridge once I get into it and see what exactly the problem is. So we'll take the we'll take the board out now, and I think it's just a couple of screws that hold the heat sink in. Should be a couple screws down here, a couple screws on the board, and this should lift out. So let's do that. There's also screws that need to come out on the back, namely the ones around the, well, you'll see when I get the board out of here. Uh, because this board goes all the way to the back, it's got some of the speaker um, terminals on it. I may have to remove some connectors too to get this out of here. The Yamaha were not my favorite unit to work on. I used to I used to despise anything that said Yamaha. I mean, I like the product, but servicing it is just a pain in the butt because of the way it's constructed to get anything out of these things to work on them. I've known of people that have actually cut holes in the bottom. I used a grinder and cut holes in the bottom so they could get at the bottom of the board so they could work on it just to make it easier than removing 
this whole board. Well, this board is not coming out. I have to pull the back off so that I can swing the back out of the way, which means taking out all these screws for all these different inputs. Now these are ugly to work on. I don't think the output, well I know the output transistors aren't blown. I, I know that, I've already tested them. The output transistors are not blown. It's likely a resistor that's gone open. Could be a driver transistor, but it's likely a resistor, maybe a one ohm resistor that's gone open. That's not providing a, a bias to one of the transistors. And of course, then the other one just goes into full saturation and it never settles down because there's nothing to nothing to balance it, nothing to counteract the DC voltage. And then the amp just goes into shutdown. I think it's the center channel. All right, I got all the screws out, I think, most of them. I got, oh, I got, missed, got another one up here. And uh, the, I think these ones can stay on. But what I want to do is I want to lift the back up, or back out off the unit. Oh, I guess that one doesn't have to come off. It just, uh, just these ones have to come out on the back here. Okay. Now this lifts out. Now, I wonder if I can get the disconnect my speakers. No point in having them connected. We're not going to be getting any sound anytime soon. So let's get the speakers out of the way. Now that this back is off, I can hopefully swing the amplifier board up. that these boards out of the way and now oh yeah we're still tied down here really built for servicing I tell you Ridiculous. Remember I said I thought it was a one ohm resistor? Well, I didn't see this until I turned the unit around, but here's a one ohm resistor. It looks like it's blown to pieces. So, hmm. I wonder if I can just clip that and replace it without pulling the board. Because even at this state, this thing is not going to come out easy. The bloody wires are so short. So let's just clip that resistor out. See if I can tack another one on and um, see if it'll work. Can't even get in here to cut the stupid thing out. No room. Well, that's a 10 ohm resistor, but it's not blown. It's broken, but it's not open. So that won't fix it. If I put a new one in there, that's not going to do anything. But it's something in this circuit right in this area here um, that's affecting these two transistors. That one and that one. Those are the ones where I've got my, my voltage. Could be one of these drivers that are shot down here. But I gotta get that board out to uh, get to that, and that's the tough part, getting the board out because it's it's wired in. Like there's there's it's wired in with other boards that don't unplug. They're hardwired, soldered in place, and basically I may have to remove the power transformer and this other power board back here because these wires are, do not disconnect. They're they're hardwired in, and they're not long enough to let me lift the board up. 
It's just, just an asinine design. So I just heard back from the guy that owns this unit and he only uses this for music, two channels. So I believe that's the center channel. Um, I'm going to disconnect it and see whether the unit will fire up. And if it does, then we're going to leave it with just the center channel disconnected so that it can be used for music because the, the time needed to get into this, to tear this thing down and actually troubleshoot it is going to exceed what the owner of it is prepared to pay to have it repaired. So this is going to turn into just try, let's try to get it running as a stereo amp and save ourselves a bunch of time and aggravation getting to the bottom of that board. From the rack out of here going on across the street, I would say that my neighbor has installed a heat pump and they are running it. That thing's a lot louder than mine. It's been running all day. I mean, I've got one as well. I've had mine for 20 years. But the one I hear running now is a lot louder than mine. Mine's one of the quiet, well, quieter, I guess you could say, heat pumps. And put the screws back in that hold the uh, the board in place and I can put the back on it and uh, we'll try disconnecting the center channel. just want to get some screws in just so that I can test it before I put it all back together. Verify that it's going to work with the center channel disconnected. I'm just going to clip the base off the transistors because then the transistors won't be in conduction and we shouldn't have any output, we shouldn't have any DC voltage. You see what I mean? Like, Just a ridiculous design when you build something this way where you've got to take everything apart just to do anything. You've got to pull all these boards out just to do anything. And even then, you can't because there's no room. So when you hear me say something like, I like Yamaha, I, I really mean I like Yamaha as far as the sound of a Yamaha system when it's working. I absolutely despise Yamaha when it comes time to repair them. It was the one brand that I really disliked when I was servicing because they started pulling this crap long before everybody else as far as the amount of work that needed to be done to disassemble and to work on anything. If I disconnect the base of the uh, output transistors that had the problem and isolate them so that they're not connected we will effectively shut those transistors down. Base and emitter. And uh, should not have any output coming off that transistor anymore. Which means that the unit itself shouldn't go into protection. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the center channel. It's either the center channel or one of the surround, I'm pretty sure. Let's see whether this unit will now uh, turn on and whether it'll stay turned on. Okay, I got power. Rock concert. I got sound. Processor is turning off. How do we do this? Effect. Here we go. I think we're probably going to leave it at that. So we know that that center channel has a problem. It's got a DC voltage on there. But uh, at this point, the, the guy that owns it doesn't want to spend the money to fix it because he doesn't use it. He uses it in his patio uh, for speakers on his patio to listen to some tunes and uh, just wants it as a basic amplifier. So we're going to fulfill that request and just give him a two channel amplifier. And I'm just going to leave the center channel disconnected. 
Um, obviously there's something in here, maybe a driver transistor or something that's popped. That uh, resistor I was, was broken, but I don't know how it was like that. It wasn't open. Uh, anyway, uh, that's not the fault. Um, it's probably one of the transistors down in here. The driver transistors, is one of them is leaky, or a resistor is open. But to, to troubleshoot that requires removing this board. And well, you saw what I had apart to try to get the board out, and I still didn't get the board out. I'd have to pull the transformer and the uh, power supply board, the standby power supply as well, to, just to get enough clearance because of the stupid design with these stupid interconnects that there's just no way to remove them. They, they don't unplug, which is a, just a stupid design on Yamaha's side of things. But it's a... Uh, working. Volume control works. How does the remote, does the remote work? I got the remote for here too. Let's see here. Remote. There you go. Volume works. I'm doing that with the remote as you can see. So it seems to be working. Yeah, I think it's sounding okay without the DSP and crap on. This is just receiving, like I got the radio tuning in for my little test transmitter, right? So, uh, let me tune this. Want, All right, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> I, think I know that he's got his stereo working for his patio game. Anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.